How's the Earth looking from way up there? She as pretty as they say? Or is that just another lie? Listen, don't forget, your implants were made for Earth gravity. Could start acting up in orbit. What I'm trying to say is, don't ignore any error warnings, okay? And when you're back, I mean, if you come back, I'll do a full checkup. Maybe even give you a little discount. Take care, V. Hey, V. Everyone's telling me you're a, a base gordo now. A big shot, eh? <laughs> so big you can't call me once a week. Once a month, even. Don't forget where you started. who you started with, hmm? My door's always open to you, V. There's always food on my table. Mi casa es su casa. No se te olvide. Ahí te veo, V. Hey, V. Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks for everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I, I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hey, V. How are things? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's a sandstorm heading straight for us. So, yeah, you're missing out. No, but seriously, we're, we're all getting by. Family never stops growing. Work's always piling up. Sometimes all I wish for is a good night's rest. But oh well. Can't have everything, right, V? You know what I mean. Let me know when you get bored of the city. I'll take you for a nice, long ride. All right, now. Take care, V. Hello, V. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City with a certain V in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now, but just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Aldo Caldo. Remember that. Ah, uh, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. Hey, Rogue here. I wanted to... Oh, voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass a message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second, that it was nice to talk to him again. Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay? Hey, V, so funny thing just happened. Oh, fuck, fuck's sake. Voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. Why did I even want to 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them? At first, I was like, over my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait. I could actually be fun. So, man, uh, what else? Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you even care. Call me back when you can, okay? Peace out! B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us, for me and Randy. This city needs more people like you. I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Hey, it's Perales. V, you're gonna wanna hear this. But first, you need to go somewhere no one's listening. Okay, so my wife, Elizabeth. She's in on the whole thing. She she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these pills. Says they're vitamins. Got them analyzed at a lab. And they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, 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 when you get a sec, call me, okay? Oh, oh yeah, and don't forget to delete this message. Connections cost an arm and a leg, so I'll just get right to it. I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot and... Oh dear. The Fool, the Moon, the High Priestess. Those, uh... Those are bad cards. Keep a close eye on your new friends, V. I mean it. life out there in the desert. Getting some sun, some fresh air in those lungs. Don't forget to get yourself a checkup every once in a while. Any dust or dirt gets into that insulation, you're done. Of course, decent ripper is harder to find out there than a four-star hotel. So actually, how about you just stop by when you're back in the city, huh? Think I could swing a little discount for an old regular like you. Till next time, V. V, is it true what they say? You rolling around in the dirt with the Aldecaldos? Have you lost your mind, mijo? Didn't you get in enough trouble already, eh? Night City was too boring for you. Estás loco, eh? Crazy, completely crazy. Just watch out for yourself, okay? Don't do anything stupid, because I'm not going to a second funeral. And wait, if you want to see some old faces, don't forget to stop by at Mama Wells, okay? Just give me a call before, and I'll make my special chilaquiles just for you. <laughs> Cuídate, V. Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks for everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, 
Just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I... I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hey, V, listen, I don't think I'll make it back to camp tonight. Sandstorm's coming our way. No choice but to sit tight and hold it out. Just wanted to say, uh... I know this isn't the first time. You know, that we had plans. Never realized how hard being a chief would be. Always looked so easy from the outside. I'm just... I'm so lucky to have you, V. You can't even begin to imagine how much it means to me. How... Guess it's time to go. I'll make it up to you. I promise. V. Hey. Christ. That run we did. My heart's still pounding. A pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, oh, oh. I mean... The odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we'd walk through hell and back with you, brother, anytime. Until next time, eh? Take care. Hey, Rogue here. I wanted to... Oh, voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass a message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second, that it was nice to talk to him again. Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay? So, funny thing just said, oh, for fuck's sake, voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously, I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. Uh, what did I even want? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them? At first, I was like, over oh, my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait. I could actually be fun. So, uh, who knows? Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you even care. Call me back when you can, okay? Peace out! B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, well, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us, for me and Randy. This city needs more people like you, but I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Four samurai committed to seppuku. They wrote, to say, a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late. Some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell. Xero. First, you need to go somewhere no one's listening. Okay, so my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole thing. She, she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these 
pills. Says they're vitamins. Got them analyzed at a lab. And they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, 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 when you get a sec, call me, okay? Oh, yeah. And don't forget to delete this message. Hey, V. Listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I... Well, one thing led to another. You know what I drew? The chariot, the lovers, and the sun. <laughs> Looks like you've got a good life ahead of you out in the Badlands. Good luck, V. Be free. No fucking point. I mean, he... Do it. You'll see. It'll help. Sophie, how's the real afterlife looking? It as nice as they say. Cause down here, it's still shit. Hell, might even be worse than before. Wish I had done more. So things might have come out different. Positive energy, Victor. I... I'm gonna miss you, kid. Escucha a tu humilde servidora, que obra siempre en tu gracia. Lord Almighty, lend thy ear to your humble servant, who serves forever in thy grace. Recibe la luz calidad de tu reino a ti, a quien llamaste a tu lado, y deja este mundo perverso. And bring unto your land of peaceful light, the one whom you bid to depart from this cruel world, be. Y acéptala en compañía de tus santos. Amén. And accept her into your fellowship of saints. Amén. May you rest in peace, Vicky. Hey, V. I was thinking about you the other day, and I thought I'd just want to give you a call. I know it's pointless, but once upon a time, people were talking to graves and nobody batted an eyelid, right? When I said I was thinking about you, I meant a lot about everything you did, and I guess, I get it, <clears throat> why you wanted to leave this place once and for all, <sighs> but st still, V, <sighs> did you even think about, you know, what happens when... Shit, I can't do this! Hey, V. Just wanted to tell you. I really hope there is an afterlife. Wanna know why? Hmm? Because that means one day we'll see each other again. And I'm gonna make you wish you never met me. What were you thinking, huh? Or did you think about nothing at all? Is that it? And after everything I did for you, everything! And what's the first thing you go do, huh? Off yourself, that's what. 
If there is a hell, I hope you're in it. Rotting, burning, all of it. Bye. B. I heard what happened. You thought this would solve everything, didn't you? That this would adequately convey what you thought of this shitty world, huh? That's something that always pissed me off, you know? This whole romanticizing suicide bullshit. Like we're all Romeo and Juliet. Cause you're so fucking original, aren't you? The only thing you proved is that you don't give a fuck about your friends. Am I right? What a fucking waste. Suicidal. Well, guess it wasn't that far-fetched. At least, that's how half the people in Night City end up anyway. Especially the good ones. Jamie Sheen. My first partner back on the force. Blew his brains out. Didn't leave a note or anything. I knew it was because of how the top brass were handling things. Of course, not like it changed much. Except the fact we were down one more decent batch. Anyway. Hope you're in a better place, V. Hey, V. Don't think you'll ever listen to this message, but... There are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in my philosophy, right? I mean, in the end, in the end it was your choice, your choice to make. But, well, you should know it, it didn't just affect you, it hit your friends too. I don't think, I don't think you knew how many friends you really had. Maybe we'll see each other again, V. You, me, Jackie. Until then, take care. What's up, kid? Been a while since you came to see old Vic. I'll bet your tunes at the afterlife found you a new Major League Ripper, huh? Them swanky downtown fucker shooting chrome out his ass? Am I right? <sighs> well, I mean it, kid. Get all you can out of this life. You deserve it. More than anyone I know. But stop by sometime, okay? Next time you're in the neighborhood, we'll... Talk about old times, and I'll take a look at you. Make sure that the new Ripper of yours didn't screw anything up. See you around, V. Hey, V. Everyone's telling me you're a, a base gordo now. A big shot, eh? <laughs> So big you can't call me once a week. Once a month, even. Don't forget where you started. Who you started with, hmm? My door's always open to you, V. There's always food on my table. Mi casa es su casa. No se te olvide. Ahí te veo, V. Hey, V! Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. 
I guess I'm just calling to say thanks for everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I, I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hey, V. How are things? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's a sandstorm heading straight for us. So, yeah, you're missing out. No, but seriously, we're, we're all getting by. Family never stops growing. Work's always piling up. Sometimes all I wish for is a good night's rest. But oh well. Can't have everything, right, B? You know what I mean. Let me know when you get bored of the city. I'll take you for a nice, long ride. All right, now. Take care, V. Hello, V. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain V in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now. But just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Aldo Caldo. Remember that. Ah, uh, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. Hey, V, so funny thing just said. Oh, fuck, fuck's sake. Voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. <sighs> what did I even... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them? At first, I was like, over oh, my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait, I could actually be fun. So, I don't know, what else? Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you even care. Call me back when you can, okay? Peace out! Hey, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. This city needs more people like you. But I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Before samurai committed to seppuku, they wrote Jisei, a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late. Some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell, Xero. Hey, it's Perales. V, you're gonna wanna hear this. But first, we need to go somewhere no one's listening. Okay, so my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole thing. 
She... she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these... pills. Says they're vitamins. Got them analyzed at a lab. And they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, 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 when you got a sec, call me, okay? Oh, oh yeah, and don't forget to delete this message. Hey, V. Listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but... We haven't seen each other for so long, and I... Well, one thing led to another. Know what I drew? Strength, the Emperor, and the world. Babe, the world's gonna hear about you. Go and show Night City what you're made of. What's up, kid? Been a while since you came to see old Vic. I'll bet you're tunes that the afterlife found you a new Major League Ripper, huh? Them swanky downtown fucker shooting chrome out his ass? Am I right? <sighs> well, I mean it, kid. Get all you can out of this life. You deserve it. More than anyone I know. But stop by sometime, okay? Next time you're in the neighborhood. Talk about old times, and I'll take a look at you. Make sure that the new Ripper of yours didn't screw anything up. See you around, V. Hey, V. Everyone's telling me you're a, a base gordo now. A big shot, eh? <laughs> So big you can't call me once a week. Once a month, even. Don't forget where you started. who you started with, hmm? My door's always open to you, V. There's always food on my table. Mi casa es su casa. No se te olvide. Ahí te veo, V. Hey, V! Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks. For everything. Wasn't until I left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I... I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hello, V. How are things? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's sandstorms heading straight for us. So yeah. You're missing out. No, but seriously. We're doing all right. Saul and I somehow get along, for better or for worse. But still, family's always growing, work's always piling up. But better to keep busy, right? And to think if it wasn't for you, I'd still be stumbling my way through Night City. So I just want to say thank you. For all you've done for me. I'd still be lost if you hadn't set me on the right track. All right, well, talk soon, V. Don't be a stranger. Hello, V. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain V in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now, but just remember, 
we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Aldo Caldo. Remember that. Ah, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. Hey, V, so funny thing just happened. Oh, fuck, fuck sake. Voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. <sighs> what did I even... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them? At first, I was like, oh, my dead fucking body. But then I thought... Hey, wait. I could actually be fun. So, uh, what else? Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you even care. Call me back when you can, okay? Peace out! B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, well, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us, for me and Randy. This city needs more people like you, and I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Before samurai committed to seppuku, they wrote to say a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late. Some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell. Xero. somewhere no one's listening. Okay, so my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole thing. She, she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these pills. Says they're vitamins. Got them analyzed at a lab. And they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, 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 when, when you got a sec, call me, okay? Oh, yeah, and don't forget to delete this message. Hey, V. Listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I... Well, one thing led to another. Know what I drew? Strength. The Emperor and the world. Babe, the world's gonna hear about you. Go and show Night City what you're made of.
But I- 